Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, which it's been a rough morning, but I'm excited to play because gosh dang it, I haven't played in at least uh, like a couple weeks at this point, maybe a week or so. Um, but also, I should have thought about it at the time, but there are obviously different ways ways, excuse me, that we could get the ability to walk around without trapping a pixie and keeping it caged. You know, it's not a very nice thing to do. At the time, I was just like, oh, like, I don't know, I just got it, like, but apparently if you let it go, it would have given you a blessing. Uh, at this point, I don't think the pixie's gonna give me a blessing, um, because I kept it in the cage. And I, the reason I didn't let it go was because it said my, my intellect or whatever, my wisdom or intelligence or whatever it was, was like, pixies are notorious troublemakers and like sometimes mischievous, but sometimes like malignant. And so I was like, well, no, I don't want to let the pixie go because it's going to cause trouble, you know? Um, and so, but then, yeah, I, I, that was my whole reasoning, and it turns out that was wrong, because I keep doing things wrong. <laughs> so, yay for me. Um, but I do, I, I came here because, for one thing, I just want things to happen. And I know last time, not a lot happened. We found a lot of secret entrances that didn't do us a lick of good. Um, so, I want to see, I think this is, is it, no, it's this one. Um, I want to see if I can, uh talk to the the sorcerer lady or whoever is it you moon shielded um yeah i want to see if we can talk to her and see if she can help us i know i've kind of lost that quest but i'm hoping to regain it i guess um, I did try to put up i don't know if you heard it in the background i, <laughs> I was trying to block the light trying to block the light that is going on and like really bothering me and like causing like a freaking glare on the top of the screen uh i put up wrapping paper uh, on the window and it just fell down so that's cool i'm having a great day i'm having a great day right now and i just wish i could see the top of my screen but alas is this Isabel, yeah, she is gone. Hmm? Ah, eh? Please help. Please help. Uh, let me maybe put this away. Turn it off. I don't know how. I don't know what these buttons do still. Like, <laughs> I know that uh, technically, kind of what they're supposed to do. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> like. Maybe Toggle Light Source was my friend in all of this. Maybe it, that's what that was. Cool beans. Love that. Love that. Cool. That would have that would have negated all that trouble. At least a large majority of that trouble that I went through a couple episodes ago. Anyway, please help Something's me. On my mind. Please. Is it? I was like, is it not gonna work? She looks cool, by the way. I need help. I would like a blessing of moonlight, honestly. I will give you my left arm. There, there goes the whole thing. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that in the background. Anyway, she's keeping up the- I remember she's keeping up the shield. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have her help me. Dang. I didn't realize I had an audience. I'm sorry, your armor is sick, though. The true soul who's going to save us all. Oh, I'm oh, she's Isabel. sassy. Pleased to meet you. I'm actually a little bit in love, right out the gate. I say that with Carlac right there. Oh my gosh, I have missed Carlac. Oh my gosh. My wife. My wife. Um, uh, you, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and you, I've heard you're the protector of this inn, the banisher of shadows. Hey, I gotta, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a blanket over my head and over my screen and see if I don't suffocate doing that, but then I won't have this glare. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like, I feel like I'm a little child. I look like I have a fort over my head right now. Um, 
Anyway, this is significantly better. I can actually see. This is crazy. Crazy. Yeah, and banisher, banisher, banisher of the shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. <gasps> Saloon! <gasps> you and your tadpole will be our offense. Oh, I should... Free from Dang it! Absolute's influence. Yet, able to walk among cultists. Hey, I am reloading. It's I want to see what... too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Ooh, I'm sensing. <laughs> I'm sensing. Oh, is she just gonna do it? I don't have to do anything for it? Oh, sick. Sick, you guys. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows. Dang though. it! I don't know how. The harpers are trying to figure it out. I have the moon lantern. I have the moon lantern. I can travel safely shoot through shadows. Well, if I'd realized, I'd have spared the theatrics. In that case, you should be able to navigate a path straight to your target. That's good. Very good. I wish you luck. The very best of it. Dang, Nabbit. I, I should have brought... I didn't even think about it, but freaking... What's her name? Shadowheart would have been great. I feel like I'm always missing out on, like, really good dialogue scenes. This is a... Maybe I don't have to reload, but maybe if I can bring her... I can bring Shadowheart out and bring her to talk to her and see if she says anything. Anything else I should know before heading Catherick off? Catherick is a frightening man. Is he even but a man? you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. Oh, what are we in? An anime? While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to. Wait. Do uh, you hear that? Oh? Oh? Something's wrong. Oh, I thought this was too easy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is the thing. Is the, is the shield crumbling? Oh my gosh. Ho he hello? Hello, Isabel. I don't like him. Right Lucas, out the gate. I don't like him. You. What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about <gasps> Catherick himself. I'm sorry, I do read ahead a little bit, so my reactions are, are a little bit ahead, but I can't help it. Look at my face. Perfect. Um, I say we follow the winged freak. What? In what circumstances is that something you would say? Um... Isabel, well, she obviously does. What are you? So, my instructions are clear. <gasps> Take the girl to Catherick alive. Oh, is he just using a mind reading thing, or is he like tadpole? Is he tadpoling me? Uh, he was, it was like flaming fist, and I was like, oh, flaming fist, that's fine. But the way he talked and the way he walked, I was like, all my instincts were like, absolutely not. Uh, sounds like fun. I'm with you. What does he want? I'm not like you. Pro- Okay, let's try. I, I have a high wisdom. Let's- Oh, easy peasy. This boy, he is nothing to me. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Ooh. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. Interesting. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Uh, uh, okay, listen, no, no. Like, straight up, no. Like, I've made a lot of bad decisions, and even some of my good decisions I think are bad decisions and are gonna have backfire on me. But, like, you know what? I can't. I can't metagame necessarily, like I totally can, I do all the time, but like, in this it's like, no, like, I, no I'm not gonna let her, if I was sneaky, maybe I'd let her get taken and then like, follow up and help, you know, but like, I don't know, it just feels really bad and mean and I don't like it. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel, we're gonna need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Oh, Your hey. treachery will be punished. I wasn't even, I'm not even a part of that. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. You wanted wings, buddy, Time that's it? Go, Isabel. You wanted wings? Oh, excuse me? 
Excuse me? I don't like that. Ah! Constitution failed. Are you serious? No! No! Mo got t If I hadn't have triggered this, this wouldn't have happened! Are you serious? What? Yeah, hellish rebuke. Absolutely not. Dang that! Well, now I'm like, I know I'm. I can't like meta game this much, but now I'm like, if I hadn't have triggered this, none of this would have happened. You know? Now Mole's gonna get pushed into taking that devil deal because I freaking didn't. I didn't commit and didn't like tell her to. I mean, I did. I was trying to tell her that what he was, but. Oh no! Uh, this sucks so much. Oh my gosh. Um. Who? Wait, what do you do? Netherese or blast? That's right. No, we are not. How many? What are they? Winged horror. Resistance to poison. Why did the constitution thing? What was that? I thought they would maybe have like when they arrived there was a constitution save that I failed So it made me think that they had like some sort of aura effect, but they do not does he? Oh, he's got extra <laughs> He's an aberration shoot. I think I'm supposed to be good against that Against being charmed or frightened. He has an extra attack <laughs> Tenacity. No! This man. This man. I won't give in. Well, I'm glad I switched out. Um, I guess I didn't need it in here, but I'm really glad I switched out my moon lantern. Um oh my gosh. Uh I don't know. We've got a guy out here. We got I can't I kinda can't see the top of my screen, alas. There's so many. I don't want these people- I don't want my friends to die! I don't want these people to die! These are innocent people! Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm- 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 I'm having a hard time also with this blanket. The blanket is a little bit difficult to work with over my head. Um, I don't know if the mist will help or hinder. I kinda- if there- if the kids were- the kids are around? Absolutely, we are- I don't know if the kids are under threat, but I'm going to operate like they are, and I'm going to put- if I can, a mist around the kids. I don't know if I can. Can Jahira die? <gasps> no, there's people outside too! Uh, I hope there's not many more, like, around. In... Ooh! Oh my gosh, the guy's almost dead, and he just freaking did a big heal thing. What did he- wait, what? Oh my gosh, yeah, we are necromancing the crap out of him once we deal with this. I, I am gonna actually have her telly out. No, down here. That is not- oh no, that is where I wanted her to go. Okay, okay. So the kids are not in danger though. They've been- they've been- except for Mole, who I freaking. Meh. Yeah, she's... Keeping herself safe, I presume? Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, no, I'm reloading on- it. Uh, nope. I knew I should have gotten down there faster! Hang on. I don't know if I should just let this play out, I guess. Okay, um, long story short, I did reload, uh, and I have an explanation for that. However, as you can tell, this is editing squirrel, not recording squirrel, which Made me pull my hair out last night when I realized what had happened. I have searched far and wide. I s wide. I swear I recorded the commentary. 
for this segment. Like it was, I, 45 minutes I spent debating on whether or not to reload this because I get caught up in my own head all the time. And I like had a discussion with a bunch of my friends. I was like, listen, I was like, here's my thing. Anyway, I don't, I'm so frustrated. This has happened like twice in the last month and I don't know what the issue is. I swear I don't, I don't know what happened to the audio. I know, I'm 99% sure I recorded it, but oh, that's, I was going to say, say that's neither here nor there, but it is very much. But anyway, what this part is now uh, is me commentating over it, which is thrilling for everybody, I'm sure. Um, but what I decided to do in the end, I spent about 45 minutes talking to a bunch of friends who have already completed Baldur's Gate 3, and I told them specifically where I was at. I was like, hey, you know, um, the, the one lady died whose name escapes me right now. It's like midnight 05. Um, and, I, you know, Jin, Min, no, not Minthara, what is it? It starts with a J. Anyway, um, I forgot, and they reminded me. They're like, with as little spoilers as possible, they're like, hey, she does become a, like a possible companion later on down the line. And I was like, yo, that right there is actually enough for me to want to be like, okay, I'm reloading, you know? Um, but I know, because a part of me got caught up in the idea of like, well, you can't reload in Dungeons and Dragons, you know, and this is supposed to be like a Dungeons and Dragons game. But then my friends were like, it's also a video game, and you can play however you want, which is literally what I said at the beginning of this playthrough, like way, way back, <laughs> is that I'll play it however I freaking want to. And then I just got all like, well, you can't reload in Dungeons and Dragons in my own head about it. Um, but no, here we are. Uh, I did reload. Um, I was a little concerned that things would be exponentially more difficult just because it seemed like I got some really good critical hits in. Um, but things don't go too badly for me. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it regardless. But yeah, I had like a whole big spiel, I think, on like, you know, oh, my decision to blah, 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 to reload and all that but you know at the end of the day it's a video game and I, while I don't necessarily want like the most perfect pristine outcome I think that was like the thing right it was like well you can't just keep reloading till you get a perfect pristine outcome it's like well yeah I freaking can you know <laughs> like it's my video game I can do what I want <laughs> you know um but even then like you know I there's certain things like tragic there's certain tragedies and events that can happen that can make a game or a story or a narrative even better so I'm not totally out of the realm for that but um mostly I just really wanted to make sure I have access to all my companions um and also I really didn't want to, my other big thing for her because I actually didn't at the time my biggest concern was that I would um that I wouldn't um that I would miss out on content that involves Jahira. Jahira, that's her name. Um, I would miss out on Jahira content, and I didn't want to do that. Oh, but so I'm going through the reload stuff, right? And then I'll, I'll catch up back with you guys when, um, when I get to the point where I was like, and now we're back. Oh, I also did want to mention, I did mean to, I brought Shadowheart this time. That was the other difference, because I was like, well, if I'm going to reload, I'm going to go all the way. So I brought Shadowheart because I specifically wanted to see what she would say when we're interacting with a, um, what do you call it, cleric of I do not know your metaphor, Saloon. But if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. Oh, also that conversation, I missed it last time too, because uh, I didn't hear the beginning. Everything between Lazelle and I think Shadowheart. <laughs> but we're definitely going to save here before all the shenanigans go down. And here I was like, oh shoot, that's right. She gave us a blessing of Saloon and Shar and freaking <coughs> yeah, Shadowheart's going to be mad. And I was like, see, I was circling and I was like, oh my gosh. Perfect. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. See, and I was expecting a bit more. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. Like I thought I thought they'd both have more to say. Well Okay, so the battle starts out essentially how the last one did. Um I succeeded on my role to like figure out what he was doing or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, I was a little disappointed, honestly, that the, uh, that, what's her name? Oh, and the inspir- that's right, they got inspiration, and I was like, excuse me, like, Lazelle gets inspiration 
for getting a moon blessing. And I was like, really? Okay. And then I think Shadowheart got one. Yeah, for witnessing... Yeah, witnessing the uh, cleric keeping up the protection spell in... Like, and I was like, why would she be inspired by watching Cello Night Magic? You know, so that's interesting. But, uh... Yeah, I won't make you guys watch all the fighting again, necessarily, but I'll try to key you in on little tidbits. <laughs> Oh, so I had an excellent discussion with my friends, right? Like I was telling you guys, like at least a little bit, you know, briefly. Like I had several people kind of queuing, me, key, keying me in, being like, "Hey, I, you know, we're trying to do as little spoilers as possible, but like, you know, here's what I kind of did, um, you know." And they were saying that the battle itself was really, really hard, and I was like, "Well, I honestly kicked butt in the fight. It didn't take that long." I was like, "But I just didn't do it fast enough," and so, you know she died and I was like dang it um but one of the um advices advice tips one of the tips I was given I, it's midnight um was to use shadow heart uh with her You'll make excellent basically as a beyblade and then I also have I gave her a what is it uh like a ring or something that gives her misty step so basically I have a teleporting teleporting beyblade um spirit guardian beyblade woman um, and it said they were, maybe my friends were saying that it, you know, frees up people's actions to have her do that. But, uh, honestly, she just really is <laughs> really powerful with that. And the fact that she can Misty Step too is great. Um, one of my friends kept saying, they're like, was it Isabel just kept trying to, like, sabotage herself? Like, throwing herself into the arms of, like, the waiting enemy? And I was like my first fight with Isabel, she took herself outside and just hid in a corner with the great. <laughs> so I thought it was funny, but honestly, I think I, I'm like freaking, I'm just like girl, girl boss, girl fight, <laughs> honestly, in this freaking Lazel, Harlack, and me, just three beefy tank frontliners. And then we have Shadowheart, who's, you know, and she's technically a cleric, but she can hit things, and I use her as a Beyblade, so... <laughs> but to me, it's just... just Gaslight, girl boss, girl fight. <laughs> girl fighting our way through this whole thing. And, like, I'm... I am not... I'm not a finesse woman. I've said it before. I'm... I play tanks, generally, in most RPG games. And I... I enjoy the role immensely because it's fairly simple. You make the enemies look at you and you hit them. You know, you keep them off your little squishy guys and you just charge in. Assassin's Creed is where I get my sneaksy stuff out. I can't, I'm incapable of doing that in an RPG. <laughs> to the chase. Oh yeah, oh, by the way, there's some, there's some divine smiting happen. I'm very happy, very happy with the smiting. Not with critical misses, no. Real sad about that one, honestly. But I'm not sure, like, if this, like, at the time, I was like, do the little flying monkey things, like, are they gonna yoink her? Or was it just Marcus? Because I'm pretty sure, I actually, I meant to look closer. I'm pretty sure we've already killed Marcus, and now we're working on the, um, I'm, I'm watching from a very small screen right now, but I'm pretty sure we killed Marcus, and it's just the flying monkeys left. Um, and I, then I was, I was like, oh, sweet, Marcus is gone. But then I was like, <gasps> like, oh my gosh, they're coming for her. Like, look, like they're coming for her. And she does, she opened, she, she did it yet? Yeah, here she freaking, she opens this door and like freaking gets this one flying monkey out here attached at her. And I was like, please don't do that. Like my friend kept saying that in her game, Isabella kept opening doors and like almost getting caught by the things. And I was like, they can take her. So I was so worried. I was like, oh no. Oh, here's where I realized that he's actually not dead. I would swear, I would swear to you that I dealt the killing blow to him and that he died. Yeah, and I was, I think I was going to save. Yeah, okay, but I was like, and in the last one, in the last save, friggin' he died. I know he did, right? But I'm like, 
hovering over him because I was like, okay, how many enemies do we have left? I'm like, wait, there's an enemy in this room? No, it's just him. Marcus is laying on the ground, knocked out. Not as far as I know, nobody had on the, like, um, what is it, the passive that lets you do, like, non-killing blows, right? And I was like, I swear, his health went, like, all the way down, and now he's just sitting there unconscious, which the game is weird about knocked out states in in like a normal D, &D game it doesn't really affect whether or not like you know you actually killed somebody or not you know whether or not they could come back with the plot or not but like this game doesn't seem to do well with that it also i think nobody likes it when you kill a knocked out target so i don't know things just get weird things get weird and i don't i don't understand how that happened because as far as i know we're all just a bunch of murderous ladies you know And this week I knocked because I did damage to two different entities with her. Like I killed that one, um, and then uh, she still, if I move her in, she still has a chance to like hit this one. Which obviously she's a cleric and hitting is not necessarily her strong suit. But we did a freaking good job. That fight was over in like 10 minutes. Like we did a really great job. And everybody's alive. Jahira is alive, and that is the most important part. I don't miss out on her content. Are you all right? This. <laughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. And is about to take a kidnapped. He's been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Uh, you wanted, they wanted you captured, not killed. Why? Does Why? does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Yeah. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Oh, I had some hold up here. I can't, what was it? Um... Oh yeah, I was laughing at, I'm getting tired of hearing that, and I never get tired of hearing no, that. <laughs> for Catherick will have none on you. End this. Oh, uh, and here, yeah, I'm like, oh no, I, I can still loot him, right? But it's like, I can't really kill him. Like, I don't know. Oh, yes, you guys, hold up. I've forgotten this, but his armor, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, no, wait, it's not his armor. Never mind, never mind. Hmm, tee -hee. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. We get into that in a little bit. <laughs> but no, he's got some good stuff. Oh, I was going to say, like, I wouldn't necessarily have been opposed if Isabel got kidnapped. Uh, I mostly wanted to keep Jahira alive just because I didn't want to miss out on, on any content that she has because one of my friends said that she's tied to quite a bit of content in future, which makes sense because she's a companion. Um, but having Isabel be taken would be like an interesting thing to do or you'd have to go rescue her maybe or something, you know? Uh, or hope, you know, I hope you don't find her dead body in a corner somewhere or something. But um, as for why Catherick Thorne would want a moon lady... I, I can't think of one off the top of my head, you know, so. Okay, now I'm definitely wanting to go down and check out, see who's alive. These kids are trying to, t the tiefling kids, right? I'm like, oh no, they're going to cause some trouble because they want to go get mole. I'm like, listen, 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 please. Like, can't do that. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. You know what mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, yeah. No, she's got a good head on her shoulders. Uh, yeah, I'll bring Mole but home. It's our job to bring Mole back. Look at her. She's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mole is family. Bring her back. 
fluffy. I hope I can't. I am really concerned about Mole. I don't know if she goes, if she's always taken, or if there's something. I, I'm very concerned that she's going to get pushed on, into the deal go. with the devil. Um, with this whole thing. But... I don't know. I'm I'm concerned, and I am kind of curious if ever for everybody she gets kidnapped or not. But we're definitely reading Isabel's diary. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. It will never get out this death that reeks within me. There are some things even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should never have come back. My thing is, it seems to me like on with you. The goddess you asks. Come back to a gaggle of shadow <laughs> the goddess asks a lot. Many of them do. Go on then. Okay, this curse. Oh, what am I? What am I wanting to say here? <laughs> I'm not familiar with saloon and Shar. Can you enlighten me? Moon and shadow, light and dark, divine sisters ever at war, and this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily. Sometimes the choice is obvious. And here I have the text glitch, so I'm going to save uh, and see how it plays out. It belongs to the goddess Shah. But I have. According to the Harpers. I don't know what this means. It fell here when they defeated Kerthrick, the one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. I was like, I have no idea what the context of that is, so I do reload. Because Larian is great, and they freaking... Oh, oh, I'm so tired. They freaking let you save in the middle of conversations, because they know their audience. Moon and shadow. Light and... Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. So then as far as Luckily, I can tell here... Sometimes the choice is obvious. Um... That it didn't really give me another an option to ask the same questions, so then I was like, um, okay. Um, the curse seems incredibly powerful. What can you tell me about it? I think I was confused. Um, because it seemed like the conversational options were gone, or the conversational option that I wanted, that I've been choosing, was gone. I think it gets figured out a little bit later. Where her response to one of the questions, one of these questions, is the response she gave me earlier. I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. Listen, I like her a lot, and I would, I would actually like to get to know her more. Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Shar and Shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. Yeah, well, that seems like a lot. It belongs to the goddess. See, here Shah. we go. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Kethrick. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Duh, that's why I was so excited for this, because we didn't have this talk when we were in the underground earlier. Uh, but I think I'm a coward. Yes, I'm a coward, and I do not uh, have the hard conversation yet. I'm just so- she said darling. How can I lead in with something as harsh as something she doesn't want to do, you know? Oh, and here I was quite concerned um, because uh, I wanted to go out and make sure that nobody else had been eaten by flying monsters. Um, I was spe specifically worried about Damon. Um, I had been in the previous save. Like, I was like, oh, maybe I need to look and make sure that everybody is um, still alive. I didn't know how many monsters were around. Um, but also, somebody pointed out that Damon being gone would be very bad for my lady love. And so I was like, Ugh! and so I was very concerned. But he's here. We Gucci. Um, we Gucci on the Damon front. As far as I can tell, nobody else died. Out and about. I don't know how Damon would have died, honestly. He, he's so far away from where the yeah. encounter was. But, you know, I guess it is always a chance. Oh, and I'm finally... So my... I did feel bad about keeping the pixie. I, at this point, I, I am wanting to release the pixie. I couldn't figure out how to freaking do it for a second. But it's like... Nobody... I, I don't know. I, somebody pointed out in the comments, too, where it's like she's obviously... 
basically enslaved in there in like a device that has spikes facing inwards like anybody who's a decent person wouldn't let her in there my initial reason for keeping her there i'm ready to come out now was because i my intelligence role said that she was mischievous and would get in like do dastardly things so i assumed i had to keep her in there so she wouldn't be doing dastardly things um so yeah anyway finally <laughs> been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own father <laughs> Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? I'm actually surprised that she d is willing to do this. Um, my biggest thing, though, was the Oathbreaker. Everyone deserves their freedom. You owe me nothing. Which I normally would do, but in this game, um, sometimes you do you do those options, and it's like, um, they're like, oh, okay, never mind, bye. And I'm like, no, no, you were supposed to still give me something, you know? <laughs> I was supposed to refuse, and you were supposed to still reward me. But anyway, this pixie is very foul mouthed. It's very, it's, it's so funny. I think when, when they when they lean into the like more sure trickstery can, aspects. But will I? Will I? Yeah, sure. Why not? I thought she'd curse me. Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words, and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? A dingus. You're welcome. <laughs> She's so scary looking. So here I was like, dang it, I kind of actually want to try out the Oathbreaker route. Um, because I, the, I, then I'm like, I'm like, so is this just, it's just a bell that I shake. And, and I think, yeah, I'm going to pull Been it out. Yeah. Move on with your life. Move on with your life. <laughs> this makes you so Oh my gosh, she'd be a hilarious as like a like a companion. Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on. So then I'm like, oh, okay. So I don't need her bell or her blessing. Like the saloon blessing is enough. Oh, also here's a big thing that I was thinking about earlier. If I hadn't gone to talk to freaking the saloon woman, the um, the cleric Isabel none of this none of this would have happened so now i'm really curious like what would have happened to my narrative if i had just ignored isabel because it took it off my quest log too like it took her off once i got the moon lantern and i just went for like kicks and giggles partly because i wanted it and i wanted an alternate to the pixie right so that i could let the pixie go but then, like, this pretty narrative-changing thing where Jahira could die, Isabel, who's keeping everybody safe in the in the inn, could be taken away. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Butter wouldn't melt. Well, look, I won't have you tracking me down in the Fey looking for tuppence. Look Let's for finish tuppence. this fair and square. So, yeah, the Earthbreaker hey, route, you still get it. Give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words, and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the- You're welcome. You're welcome, the stares into your eyes. Uh, so yeah, I get the bell regardless, so now I can be double blessed? I don't know. But, you know, it's a- uh, It's- it's- It's something. It's cool. It's interesting. But yeah, here's here's the mole one. Keep an eye out for mole. Listen here, you. I'm. I hope that girl's all right. I haven't gone much further than this. I've only played for like an hour past this, I think, or an hour and a half. Oh, I did want to bring up. I think I bring up in this part where it's like, okay, I don't know if I brought it up during the video with the with the shadow tiefling boy out in the shadowlands, but. Seeing as how that kid was the only one that I could bring up, Tamriel or whatever his name is, the, the forest boy, that's obviously a huge sign that somehow this kid, or somehow in some way, is connected to the forest boy, you know? Like, it's pretty obvious. I don't think, I, to not to my knowledge anyway, can you ask anybody else about the Shadowlands boy? Or about, sorry, about, you can't ask anybody else about the forest boy, right? Um, but you can ask the Shadowlands boy about him. So I was like, hmm, that seems a bit suspicious. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know how that's going to play out. But, um, 
Somehow I think we'll see that boy again. Little Shadowlands boy. And here, I think I'm just going through and checking, like, I think I've finished up the area, really. I'm just making sure that everything I have left to do is mostly, like, closer to Moonrise, right? Like, at Moonrise or closer to Moonrise. And we've basically finished off this whole area, so that's, like, this starting sort of area of Act 2, you know? At least for now. Like, I think we have to come back for some things. Like, there are things we can bring back to this area. But for now, we're going to be looking into settling off and finding the rest of these things. Um, and clearing out the map over in the darker shadows. So, we've got that going for us. Oh, I am going to go check out this small corner. As you can see where, like, my mouse is going around. I want to just make sure that I clear, that I fully flesh out this part of the map. There's that one big fight with those, like, tentacle vine monsters that I was like, okay, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go do that really quick, but I'll do it basically off camera so that you guys don't have to watch it again. Um, but it's a little tiny spoilers. The girl boss girl fight version of that fight goes much better. <laughs> so, um, but I won't be doing that in this episode, obviously, as you can see by the timestamp. So for now, I will go ahead and say thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I know it's been a while since I uploaded and really I, I can't, I, I, my life is a bit sporadic and I get that, but at the same time, I do feel really bad, um, when I can't upload in on a more regular schedule. But for those of you who make it to the end of these videos and who keep watching, despite my, my nomadic lifestyle for the last couple years, I really can't say thank you enough to all of you. Um, but I want to give an extra special shout out to my patrons, including my Aquin tier patrons. Um, Fane, <laughs> thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. Um, your support really does kind of keep me going on some of the days when I'm like, Bleh. But not to put any pressure on you or anything, but it is really nice to know that people are commenting and enjoying my videos. So um, thank you so much and thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.